Hey there, who else wants to know how to hit the road to supersize your business? Sharon Hornell from here, also known as Pajama Grandma, talking about the idiom, hit the road. Hit the road, it's kind of a frustrating one for me because I couldn't find any origin information on it. I couldn't find out when people started using the expression hit the road. Hit the road, of course, means to begin on a journey, to leave on a journey, or just to leave. I think of the song, Hit the Road, Jack, and I don't even remember when it's from, but as soon as I read this, that, uh, that song started playing in my head. Isn't it funny how our brains work? We hear something, a word, we, we, any one of our senses can trigger an, an old attachment and an old connection in us, and it's really, really powerful. It's part of why we're talking about these idioms and what they mean, because even if they're not something that you think is affecting you, they're probably affecting people around you, because most of them have been in use for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years. Now, hit the road, I don't know how long it's been around. It's been around, it comes from the sound of horses' hoofs hitting the road. Uh, so how long have people been riding horses or walking horses around or leaving on a journey, dragging their goats behind them or their cows to market? I mean, it's it's been a long time. So the sound of hoofs on the road or you stepping on a road to begin a journey, it's been around for, I'm sure, centuries. But when did people actually start saying, hit the road? I don't know. And I couldn't find it. And I actually looked. But so my question is, if you know where this idiom comes from or if you have knowledge on the origin of it, please, please, please share in the comments below so, so I don't be wondering all day long, what the heck, where did this come from? And I'll be searching all over and Googling it and whenever I get a minute. So I don't want to be doing that kind of a waste of my time. But hit the road. How can you use this expression? How can you use this to supersize and grow and build the business of your dreams? Well, number one, take a step toward what you want. Whatever it is that you want and are building and what you need to do next, don't wait. Don't procrastinate make quick decisions act take a step toward it right now put that foot on the ground hit the road and just move toward it will it be the right step maybe maybe not you'll never know until you actually step out begin the journey move toward it and take that first step so the first way to use hit the road to supersize and grow your business is to take that first step take a step take action make quick decisions and adjust along the way right if you've got the big vision of where you want to go and every decision you make moves you closer to that and you're moving toward that and that's the foundation of your decisions that you make in your business if you know where you're going it's a lot easier to make those day-to-day -day quick decisions you don't have to commiserate you just run everything through the filter of do is the probability higher that this will move me toward my goal or away from my goal if the probability is higher that it'll move you toward your goal go for it and adjust along the way and make the tweaks that are necessary to grow and build your business another way that you can use this expression to um, grow and supersize your business is to well initially work with the right customers and the right people in the first place make sure that you're you're attracting the right people to your business and you're not just trying to work with everyone. It's one of the biggest mistakes that business owners make and probably contributes to the high failure rate of most businesses is that they're, they're trying to serve everyone and when you're trying to serve everyone, you're absolutely positively serving no one. Um, think if you were a person in a relationship and you decided you weren't just gonna have one significant other, you were gonna have a ton, right? Well, how well are you serving any of those 100 people, let's say, versus the one person. It's a weird analogy, not sure where that came from. Another way, okay, so you wanna make sure you pick the, first, the right people in the first place. Now, if you don't, the way that you use the hit the road <laughs> idiom is to not send people packing, but sever your relationship with them. If you're in a bad partnership, I found myself in bad partnerships before, both personal and uh, business. You have to know when to Fisher cut bait. You have to know when to cut that line, sever that tie, and let that partner go. You have to know when to let a customer go. One of the hardest business decisions I've ever had to make was letting a 20 year huge part of my business for one of my businesses customer go. I had to sever that relationship and it was it was hard. It was mostly scary. It was more scary than it was hard. It wasn't hard to do. I just had to make a phone call and send an email. Um, that, that, that's not hard to do. But scary, emotionally scary, it, you know, it, I'll admit it took me a year to actually send that email and make that phone call. Um, so a lot of times it isn't hard to take that first step, literally hard. It's just 
mentally and emotionally hard to take that step. But take the step we must, especially when it comes to um, not working with people that are not good for us and for our organization. Especially when those people are close to us or we've had a long-standing relationship. That makes severing that tie harder, but it's only emotionally and mentally and thought-wise harder and ego-wise harder. It isn't actually physically any harder, right, to send them packing. Um, and another way to um, that's really incredibly successful, and most of us, at least in the smaller business world, but in the bigger business world, they do this all the time, is to use the expression hit the road, is to take the show on the road. Meaning, once you prove concept or um, you master a, a small group of people and serving them or a small geographical area, once you get your systems and your procedures and your processes and your, your well-oiled machine going for your business, then it's quick and easy to expand into other markets, other niches, other um, serve other people, other groups of people, and to take your show on the road. Think of um, plays, Broadway plays. They start in Broadway. They see if they're a hit or not. If they're a hit, what do they do? They don't just, well, a lot of times they run it for a long time, but when that market starts to dwindle and the, the um, attendance goes off, they take it to other cities. They take the whole show to actually other cities. And so Broadway plays and plays that are good or, or any kind of performing arts by taking it to different geographic locations can appeal to and attract a whole new audience. And they can make, you know, a thousandfold, a hundredfold, tenfold what they would have made had they not gone to a different area. So don't forget about the strategy of taking your business or your show on the road by serving other geographic locations, other markets, other people that your products and services can solve a problem for. That's it. I would love to know what you think of this idiom, hit the road, and if you've had experience with it. I've had experience with it. When you get fired, guess what? They tell you to hit the road. When, when you let people go or you get laid off, they tell you to hit the road, right? They say it a little nicer than that, usually, but not always, right? So that's it. Go out, have an absolutely amazing day, and hit the road today. Take a step toward what it is that you want to grow and build your business. Be with you tomorrow. Bye.